Good afternoon, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with the Trumpet for My People. Today is July 30th, 2018, and we are just less than four and a half days now to August 4th. I want to share a piece of information with you about uh, a sign in the heavens on August 4th. Quite interesting, and there's a lot of details uh, that go together with this sign, and I'm just going to share a few basic things that I have seen and uh, you guys can go ahead and study more on this uh, on your own. The first thing I want to share with you is that on August 4th the moon will be in the constellation Cetus and there is a conjunction between the moon and Uranus. The moon and Uranus on August 4th so there's a lot of details that come out if we study about the uh, about the uh, constellation Cetus and about the planet Uranus. What do we see and how is this all connected to the rise of the Antichrist? It's connected to August 4th because of the sign here. And there are in interesting details that come out uh, within the planet Uranus the details of the planet itself and the details of the mythological meaning of uh, Uranus. Okay, so this, uh, this conjunction is on August 4th, the moon uh, close to Uranus. And there is an interesting article that came out and uh, I find this interesting because it came out on July 5th, 2018. So basically within the last, within the last month, um, there, there was a news article that came out, Uranus News, a giant protoplanet likely hit the ice giant billions of years ago. Uranus took a hit of cosmic proportions when a planet twice the size of Earth crashed into the ice giant billions of years ago. This article was published on July 5th, 2018. That The article goes on to say, Astronomers at Durham University believe that they have finally cracked the mystery of Uranus' tilted orbit and freezing temperatures. The culprit, the likely culprit, appears to be a protoplanet colliding with Uranus in the infant days of the solar system. When compared to the other eight planets, Uranus appears to be t tilted at an almost right angle in relation to the rest of the bodies in the system. The planet also sports an unusually cold outer atmosphere, reaching temperatures as low as 216 degrees below zero Celsius. Okay, look at the number 216. This uh, relates to August 4th. August 4th being the 216th day of the year. So let's uh, take a look at some more information here. Uh, Uranus, here's an article. We're going to look at some details about the planet Uranus. One of the details here that comes out the origin of the planet Uranus. It was widely believed that Uranus did not have parents. Instead, he was brought to life by chaos, the first form of the universe. When it says in, uh, in Genesis 1, 2, that the earth was without form and void, that was the original word for chaos that was the original meaning or the understanding of chaos the first form of the universe when the earth was without form and void and so uranus being brought forth to life by chaos very interesting you know that the new world order has the uh the motto order out of chaos very interesting that Uranus is connected to being brought to life out of chaos. Brought to life by chaos. Order out of chaos. The new world order. 
order out of chaos. Out of chaos comes order, order out of chaos for the world order. And this is even written on the United States dollar. And so we saw that Uranus is, uh, has a temperature, okay, August 4th is day 216 of the year. Okay, we know this is connected to six times, six times six. Six, six, six is 216. But the fact that Uranus is connected to the moon on August 4th, the conjunction right on this day, this is the 216th day of the year, and Uranus has temperatures as low as 216 degrees Celsius below zero. Okay. The other thing we see about this uh, sign in the heavens is the constellation itself, uh, Cetus. We see that this is the eye, okay? The, the moon is in the position of the eye. It's conjoined with Uranus. And what is Cetus known for? It looks some like some type of monster out of the sea, like a sea monster or a whale, just some type of creature, right? We see the connection and the, the conjunction on August 4th. And let's see what this one article uh, shares about Cetus, the sea monster. When Cassiopeia, wife of King Cepheus of Ethiopia, boasted that she was more beautiful than the sea nymphs called the Nereids, she set in motion one of the most celebrated stories in mythology, the main characters of which are commemorated among the constellations. In retribution for the insult to the Nereids, the sea god Poseidon sent a fearsome monster to ravage the coast of Cepheus's territory. That monster, a dragon of the sea, is represented by the constellation Cetus. Okay, we see that Cetus represents a monster, a dragon of the sea. To rid himself of the monster, Cepheus was instructed by the oracle of Ammon to offer up his daughter Andromeda as a sacrifice to the monster. Andromeda was chained to the cliffs at Joppa, the modern Tel Aviv, to await her terrible fate. Interesting that within the story of this mythological story of Cetus, Israel comes into play. Cetus was visualized by the Greeks as a hybrid creature with enormous gaping jaws and the forefeet of a land animal attached to a scaly body with huge coils like a sea serpent. Hence, Cetus is drawn on star maps as a most unlikely looking creature, more comical than frightening, nothing like a whale, although it is sometimes identified as one. Okay, so Cetus is like a monster out of the sea, kind of like a dragon, kind of like a dinosaur, but it has this strange uh, look to it or personification. Isaiah 27, 1. In that day, the Lord with his sore and great and strong sword shall punish Leviathan, the piercing serpent, even Leviathan, that crooked serpent, and he shall slay the dragon that is in the sea. The dragon that is in the sea Cetus, within the story of the, the, the mythological story or the personification of Cetus, it's a sea serpent or a sea monster, a sea dragon. And within this verse in Isaiah 27, 1, it talks about a serpent, which is the dragon 
in the sea, the crooked serpent, the dragon that is in the sea. We also know that within the uh, Revelation 12 sign, part of the birthing process has to do with the dragon. There appeared another wonder in heaven, and behold, a great red dragon, having seven heads and ten horns, seven crowns upon his heads, seven crowns upon his heads, seven heads, seven crowns upon his heads. It's a red dragon. Very interesting that from the red moon, the blood red moon, where it was also conjoined with Mars, a double confirmation of red, on July 27th and 28th, we have a seven day connection to August 4th, seven heads, 10 horns, seven crowns upon his head. And his tail drew a third part of the stars of heaven and it cast them to the earth. The dragon stood before the woman which was ready to be delivered for to devour her child as soon as it was born. So that's what I wanted to share with you this afternoon. On August 4th, there is a sign in the constellation Cetus, the dragon or the monster from the sea, conjunction with Uranus, Uranus who was born out of chaos, Uranus who has a, a freezing temperature of 216 degrees Celsius below zero, the 216th day of the year. Very interesting details that came out as I got looking at this sign in the heavens on August 4th, 2018. Um, let me share one other thing with you before I close. My previous message that I shared, the Lord has spoken August 4th, 2018, has been completely blocked and removed from Facebook. And uh, so I will leave the link to this video and the understanding that the Lord has given to me that shows us from Matthew chapter 24, the importance of August 4th. It's the destruction of the second temple and it's the birthday of the Antichrist. So I pray that you are blessed today. This is Steve Fletcher with the trumpet for my people, the sign of his coming revealed.